Hello Nook Mac and uh, in this video we are going to be creating our drawing manager. Uh, drawing manager is basically uh, going to be the uh, a bridge or um, the uh, yeah the bridge between your core data and your drawing views. So basically it's going to act as a view model uh, per se for this uh, for this communication. So let's go ahead and create a new file and uh, we are going to call uh, we're going to select swift file template and we're going to call this one drawing manager all right uh, we're gonna import from swift ui because uh, we're going to be uh, making this uh, class observable Right, it's going to have one published uh, property, which is going to be docs, uh, which is basically a collection of our drawing documents. And we're going to initialize that inside the initializer. And for the initializer, we're going to talk to core data manager, we're going to get its shared instance, and we're going to say get data get data is going to basically return us the uh, collection of drawing documents and it's going to basically make a fetch request uh into the database and uh and basically just go over each record of drawing doc which is the uh entity representation of our document and basically convert that into a drawing document and return that fetch result okay all right let me uh close this all right okay so we're gonna first uh, create a function update this is gonna take data or id uuid and we're gonna say if let index is equal to self dot doc dot first index where first parameter dot id is equal to id so we're gonna get that that item where the ids are matching and we're gonna say self dot docs index that we found dot data is equal to data update data and we're gonna update that index document at that index okay all righty um Okay, so let's take a look if uh, our drawing document we have data defined as let so we can change it to r and uh, then this error is gonna go away. Let's go ahead and build it to make sure. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna create a function to get data and get data looks data by id and it returns that data so this is basically our drawing data that we are getting or setting and, up and updating and stuff like that all right so if we get a document with that ID that we are looking for, we're going to return um, document.data. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to return empty data. Okay. Uh, there are just a couple of more functions that we need to add. Uh, we need to add, uh, add data. Okay. Add data takes a document. 
a drawing document and uh, this drawing document uh, just first of all it appends um, that document into docs collection as well as calls the core data manager and tells it to add data for that document and add data takes the takes the document uh, entity basically or uh, not the entity document um, uh, model uh, and converts it into drawing doc entity and then saves the context okay all right um, for delete we are simply gonna look for index set okay and we're gonna go over each index in index set and we're gonna tell core data manager dot share dot delete data or the document that is coming from docs dot index and docs dot remove at index okay so that is our delete uh, functionality and uh, this actually wraps up our drawing manager um, now once again drawing manager is basically gonna be used as a communication bridge between our core data and our uh, pencil kit uh, the UI logic okay uh, in the next video what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start working on our view controller first uh, that view controller is basically gonna um, contain the canvas and uh, basically a canvas of our pencil kit so you're gonna see the actual pen pencil kit integration in next video and uh, then uh, we're gonna start uh, creating basically uh, views in Swift UI and the first view that you're gonna create is gonna be the wrapper around that uh, pencil kit um, a view controller that we have created and uh, so we can so our Swift UI code can basically access that pencil kit uh, written uh, view controller and then display that in Swift UI uh, view okay so that is going to be the plan for our next video so let's go ahead and hop on to the next video and uh, we will continue from here thank you